Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Live from Kingston, Jamaica, broadcasting around the world. Around the world. You're watching the Teach Dem YouTube show. Intellectual, yet stimulating. Fair, frank, and factual. This is Extra Class, streaming to the world and beyond. Beyond. You know, which teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Good night, everyone. Let me know if you're seeing me clearly. Let me know if you're hearing me clearly. If you're seeing and hearing me clearly. Welcome to another episode of Extra Class, episode number 275. I trust that everybody, everybody, everybody's okay. I trust that everybody who is in the hearing of my voice and who is seeing my face is healthy and your family likewise for all those persons overseas um depending on where you are i know the situation is still really bad the situation is becoming really and truly bad in jamaica as well we'll talk about that in a few um for the persons who are at work on this friday night i trust that your shift will end soon and you'll get a chance to get home to be with your friends and your family i suppose for the persons who are on the road please be safe also please get home safely for the people that are home ready for listen to each other about some things we have had jammed down Jamrock, Jamaica land we love. Land of food and water, Bob Marley, Usain Bolt, Vice Cartel, Bujibantan, Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson, Porsche Sim Similar. You know what I mean? Give thanks, peeps. You see me I say? Marcus, Monsaya, Gavi and the works. Lawful, big up yourself in a brother, brother. This is for um your baby king. Big up yourself in a broski, as a matter of fact. Um, the little man I got Chris tomorrow, but we'll talk about that later. You understand? So give thanks for the support, bro. Peeps, big up on yourself. We're there. You know what you go? Love is always there. No matter how we dress our raga raga ear, we not care. So forward. Kaboom! Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them. You know which teach them the number one intellectual blogging panel on the YouTube channel. Hey yo, yellow. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification button. Hey yo, we always up to something. Teach them. Hey yo, yellow. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Yeah, peeps, um, before we go any further, please take the time to share the stream on your social media platforms. Your different statuses and them, something, 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 something there. You know, we're there. Um, we give thanks. As me, as a lawful. Big up yourself and a brother, brother. You no, know, I appreciate the contribution. Yeah, man. Bless up every time. Um, I would have been streaming all week, it seems. I would have streamed on Wednesday night. I would have streamed on... Thursday, last night, um, read the election results. Zane, almost about eight hours in streaming time. But you know, the work is the work. Um, we're there. We have a few little things we want to talk about. And thing and thing. Um, not too, too old the thing tonight. But um, you know, I think uh, I said I can um, get some, some music in the background. So. Why that I play out there so that we have play here. So. Boom. Alright. I'm gonna balance it, boy. So. Empress Testing, big up yourself and big up to all of the nice and decent ladies in the building, all of the kingdom in the building. Big up on yourself likewise, you know what I mean? Alright, peeps. It has been no secret. What God can do. <laughs> Is that that video? I say? It has been no secret that. In recent weeks, the COVID numbers in Jamaica have been, been on the rise. Significantly so. I remember there was a day when we had, what, 245 cases for a 24-hour period. Um, a lot of that, a lot of the recent numbers, confirmed cases, have been attributed to the Emancipence um, celebration period there. Also, the frolic and the folly that was observed on nomination day. Plus, I know some people come here, they now serve no quarantine, they go to funeral, they go party, they go all about the place. 
You understand what I say? So, a lot of those things would have contributed to the numbers that we are currently seeing. The thing about that though is that, and I don't want to be an alarmist or the bearer of bad news, but the worst is yet to come. Hope that is not the case, but it is seeming that way. Especially considering what would have gone on yesterday during elections. I mean, persons were out, persons were mingling, interacting. Some persons were not wearing any masks. Social distance was missing in many... Social distancing was distant in many areas. Um, also, supporters of the Jamaica Labour Party who would have been in jubilant mood seeing that the party that they support would have won the the 18th 18th the 18th general elections um took to the streets in motorcades in mock funerals i have something to say about the mock funerals in in some processions that would have been ill-advised would have been unnecessary and the long and short of it it is silly yeah um they would have exposed themselves and exposed others to the ravages of the covid 19 pandemic they would have gone back home last night and tonight to their children to their mothers and grandparents who may have existing conditions comorbidities and as I said, the worst is yet to come. I have seen a number of video snippets where there have been mock funerals and funeral processions apparently in lieu of burying the People's National Party after they lost the elections yesterday. I dare say that these mock funerals may unfortunately result in some real funerals a few weeks down the road because we're not sensible you understand the election results are what they are you going out on the road to gyrate and all sort of crap will change nothing it solves nothing it fixes nothing yeah and reflecting on the speech given by the prime minister last night and i am not a, a attributing any blame to the prime minister but i am trying to figure out if at any point in time he would have taken the time out to express to the supporters of the party that they need not take to the streets in any form of celebration i don't remember um he may have seized that opportunity and it may have helped Maybe not, because in, in, in truth and in fact, the Prime Minister can monitor every single Jamaican. You understand? Where was the police in all of this? Um, what could the police do in all of this? I don't know. Um, a medical expert had said a few days ago that the COVID spike coming out of the elections will start to manifest itself about the 17th of September after the, the, the next cycle, the 14-day the, the cycle for incubation and stuff. And I fear that in light of all things I have mentioned just now, we may see some frightening numbers for a period of time. These numbers may also be followed or accompanied with increased fatalities. Yeah? These increased numbers will continue to slow the economic recovery that is so badly needed. Will push back even further the proposed opening day for school I mean, in physical space, I, I am of the view that physical school will not be possible until January the earliest. 
it, I suppose the modality that will be utilized across the board is using online platforms. Um, I would be more than pleased if I end up being wrong and we can go back to school, say, November, dear, dear about. But I am not foreseeing it. It will also play a significant strain on the already strained medical system. Many hospitals already have declared that they are filled to capacity as it relates to treating with the COVID-19 pandemic. As I said, one of my favorite books when I was going to high school, I, I remember when I was doing it, I was the only male who sat lit at the CXC level when I was in fifth form. And there is a book that you normally use called The World of Poetry. Yeah? There's a poem in that book titled, This is the Dark Time, My Love. <laughs> These are the dark time, my loves. Yeah? Let me just remix it a little. Um, it will be a bumpy ride. It will be a hard few weeks, few months ahead of us. I am absolutely certain that restrictions will be tightened. And in some instances, some level of lockdown may become necessary. In order to treat with the situation. And. Many of us as Jamaicans. Continue. To apparently. Demonstrate the effects of brain damage. I don't know how going out to celebrate after an election. Benefits you. Your family. I. I, I don't know. Um, nomination day is what it is. It, it came, it went. We had our views on that. I thought would have learned some lessons from the nomination day fallout in COVID-19 cases. Apparently, we don't learn very quickly. And this will be bad. This will be bad. Very bad. I am very happy that the election day has come and gone in that respect. I still hold the view that it was an inopportune time. Brother, jubilation crapping at them time. Eh? Jubilation when people are dead. That doesn't make no sense. You understand? So... <laughs> Let's see. I hope my instincts turned out to be turns out to be wrong, and the numbers may not go anywhere close to what I am suspecting. I will not speak specifically as to what I expect the numbers to be, but yeah. Hmm. It will go rough. It will be a time for all of us to come together, not physically, but morally, I suppose, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, for the next couple of weeks. Yeah? Let the people celebrate. It's our culture. Mr. Alex, calm down, brother. There's a place and time for everything. And tonight is not the place for crap, bro. Celebrate where? Celebrate at them yard. Tonight is not a crap night, family. Yeah? Let the people celebrate. Why you stop talking foolishness, man? No. There was a press release today by the Minister of Health that has signaled the signs of the time, I suppose.
tight of COVID restrictions coming on Monday, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton has announced that tighter measures are coming next week to contain the spread of the COVID-19. Jamaica has recorded 2,896 cases with 29 deaths. According to Tufton, Jamaica is now at the community transition phase. That's the phase where it is difficult to trace how someone may have become or contracted the virus. Yeah? I'll give you some more information in a few. This is just an overview before I break it down. Community transition means that persons are contracting the virus without any link back to a confirmed case. So many people have it now, it's hard for trace. Ed. Hmm? Tufton said the designation took effect on Wednesday. For, that is the day before election, you know. Following consultations with local health teams and the Pan American Health Organization. He said that the country can expect the number of COVID cases to increase over the next six to eight weeks. But let the people celebrate. It is their culture. <laughs> Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bessesa Mackenzie says active cases are now spread across all parishes and in about 40% of communities island-wide. According to Tufton, the country should expect further restrictions which will be unveiled starting Monday. These restrictions will include tighter curfews, stay-at-home orders for the elderly, Emphasis on work from home, orders, and a reduction in the number of persons allowed at funerals and other public gatherings. <clears throat> so, this is a statement that was released today. I will read it in its entirety. So, it was released approximately 2.30 p.m. today, September the 4th, 2020. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press, members of the public. Yeah? And him said, thank you for joining. I mean, everything. Based on the assessment of the technical team in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, and after consultation with the technical team at the Pan American Health Organization and World Health Organization on Wednesday, the 2nd of September, I am now advising the public that Jamaica is declaring community transmission in the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Community transitions, transition means the inability to relate confirmed cases through chains of transmission for a large number of cases and increasing positive tests through sentinel samples, especially from persons coming to health centers and hospitals. So if you can't trace nobody and track nobody, it becomes increasingly difficult to treat with the situation because you don't know who may have been exposed and who is being exposed yeah in making the declaration we are alerting the public that the transmission of the virus can no longer be easily traced from one member of the population to the other and that the concern for the transmission for covid19 is now island wide this change in the phase of the pandemic may mean that over the next six to eight weeks the population may see a steep rise in the number of cases reported while the majority of persons will not have symptoms that will require them to visit a doctor or be hospitalized, more persons are expected to seek medical attention in private and public facilities. Yeah? This stage of the pandemic will also mean that we will need to strengthen the infection prevention and control measures to reduce the rate of spread within the population and, more importantly, protect the vulnerable. Given these prerequisites, prerequisites the health team has already begun to re-examine the protocols already in place and will issue new protocols to better guide the public in how we operate within the context of the new phase early discussion with the prime minister will result in new measure measures that will come into inf into effect <laughs> on monday the 7th of september 2020 the day when school was supposed to open eh? some of these new measures may include one the increase in the curfew restrictions to 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. across the island. Two, an increase in the stay-at-home orders for the elderly moving from 75 to 70 years. Three, re-emphasis on the work-from-home orders for the private and public sector. And four, restrictions on public gathering. 
<sighs> now let me finish reading. As was stated at our different discussions with you, the community transition phase was an anticipated next part of the COVID-19 plan. And we have prepared and continue to prepare the infrastructure within the health sector to respond appropriately to its impact. The major focus of the health team, therefore, in accordance with the plan, is to continue the coordination of our different partners locally and internationally. Two, reorient our surveillance system to assist in the creation of appropriate management information for effective and efficient decision making. Strengthen the capacity of our lab resources to include collaboration with private labs. Continue to strengthen the support for hospitals through increased bed capacity by 600 and increase the cadre of staff available to respond to patients' needs. Ensure the effective, commu- ensure the effective communication with all levels of stakeholders within the population and continue the surveillance and management at the points of entry to include our airports and seaports to reduce the number of imported cases. Continuing, I must state here that there is no need for a panic. What is required is what is required at this time is a commitment for all Jamaicans to take personal responsibility for their health and take every precaution necessary to prevent yourself from contracting the virus. However, if you are infected, you also should not panic. Ensure that you make every effort to boost your immune, immunity through exercise and having an appropriate diet. Call our helplines to guide if there are any signs of increased complications. I encourage persons, especially persons 65 years and over, or persons with hypertension and diabetes, to pay close attention to any symptoms that you have that could be signs of COVID-19. If they worsen, seek advice early from a medical professional. I urge continued vigilance for the entire population and remind you to practice all infection prevention and control protocols. No more than ever, we must take personal responsibility for our health. At this time, we must take personal responsibility for our health. That is where it's at. Um, The minister is saying do not panic. But Yeah. yeah. Brace yourself. Yes, and the numbers will rise. I sincerely hope that these numbers may not be as bad as I anticipate them to be. I sincerely hope that these pre- and post-election activities will not have a significant effect on the numbers in the coming weeks as I would anticipate. Yeah, so I could deal with some things, you know. Um, The election is still very, very topical. Many persons are having a lot of things to say. Um, Ms. Zena Brown, good night, Empress. It is good to see you. Really and truly appreciate the continued support. Also appreciate the financial contribution. Blessings every time. A lot of things are being said. Um, a lot of things are normally said after an election. Especially by the losing party or supporters of the losing party. The, the, the accusations of, of, of vote buying is always there. But let me, let me quash that immediately. In all... Elections in Jamaica's history, money has changed hands between politicians and the people. And make no mistake about it, money has changed hands between politicians of both political parties. So, dash for that. And if money had changed hands and, and, and this needs to be removed from our political process, I'm just saying. Yeah? If money changed hands... In this election, as per the accusations, I assure you that money would have changed hand between 
politicians from the Jamaica Labour Party and its supporters and politicians from the People's National Party and its supporters. Argument done. Next point. Teach, it's been a while. I wasn't getting your notification. Kobe, best fan. Big up yourself and your brother, brother. Yeah, man, it's been a while. Um, hope you're all right, first and foremost. I don't know. A couple of people have been saying that re-notifications. But Kobe, you know, should I know a time for, for, for them time, the brother? It is, you know, depend on the notification. Peeps, please double check. So you may be subscribed to the channel, but your post notification may be turned off. You may turn them off accidentally. Zine, or you may not have turned on post notification to receive all notifications. So just double check to ensure. So if you want to be a con um, a member of the of the of the family, Zane, and you get all of the notifications them, which you won't always get still based on YouTube. Just double check to ensure say, the notifications them turn on. And just check your channel from time to time. I upload almost every day. Yeah, so I say, yeah man, so as a matter of fact, the, the independent observer for the election, Cafe, citizens for free and fair election, based on their assessment, is that the election process was free and fair. See? So let's 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 move on. Also, it is normally the case that persons who support a losing party is that them party supporters never go out go vote. Then I who for fault that. Yeah, so let me say, if the people them did go go vote, what I dare say again, the voter turnout yesterday was 37.7%, I think, the lowest in the history of all elections in the country. I rest, I assure you that even though some People's National Party members never go go vote, some Jamaica Labour Party members never go go vote neither. So that's sure that too. Yeah, sir? So we may just chalk out some things tonight. Yeah, sir? Also, there is <laughs> the discussion that the youths them vote for clerks and brogard and them something. Then as politicians, you have to sell something. You understand? That is how it is. And unfortunately, that is the reality. Zane, but when it comes down to it, and I've said it before, and I have about a million streamers, I said that the People's National Party was never going to win the general election with Peter Phillips as leader. Argument done again. Next point, the People's National Party was never going to win the election because they are not united. There are two leaders, or there were two leaders in the People's National Party. Peter one party, Peter two party. There was no unity. While the Jamaica Labour Party was far more united. And they were singing from the same hymn sheet. Argument done. So make we be real about the thing and come out of our emotions and our feelings. I you know we normally bring balance to the thing. I you know we know in a grown thing and we don't business with no guy. We just call the thing like how the thing is. You would have never lived in a Jamaica where a Peter Phillips led PNP would have defeated an Andrew Wellness led Jamaica Labour Party. It just wouldn't happen. Me, me are telling you that from months back. And I just yesterday or day before, long time me are telling you that. Long, long time. Despite all of the ills. And valleys surrounding the Jamaica Labour Party. You understand? The reality is that the PNP is in a state of decay, disunity, disrepair, mismanagement. And all sort of things. Stagnation, good word. Yeah? And until the People's National Party get them thing together, they will remain in opposition. What is most concerning about the general election yesterday is the fact that in a two-party dominant democracy, 
we now almost have no opposition. 14 members of parliament in a house of 63. That is dangerous grounds. You understand? That is dangerous grounds. And it becomes even more important for people like you and people like me to hold the government responsible. To call them out as them slip. And if needs be, whenever they go to the polls again to remove them if they have not done what they are supposed to do. So instead of the PNP supporters them do some reflection and some introspection and call a spade a spade and a shovel a shovel and a shovel a shovel 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 that's something there it makes no sense you play the blame game and the accusation game and the game them just call a spoon a spoon. Soup spoon or... I don't know a spoon. Eh? It serves you nor the party that you support in no way, shape or form for continue bickering and mourning. The election is over. And as far as I know, there will be no other election for the next five years apart from local government elections. Yeah? So, that is my advice. And I give that advice in the view, from the purview, that we need a viable, strong opposition, be it opposition formed by the PNP or opposition formed by the JLP. We need a good opposition, a strong opposition. We can say, we don't agree with the government here, so, so the bill I can go through. Oh, Professor said t- tablespoon and teaspoon. It's bowl of spoon. Them. You understand? So let us not get carried away with the sour loser business. We don't need for looking on the self or looking on the party and fix the thing. So we can have a good opposition in the years to come if you don't become government. You understand? 14 opposition MP. And it could have been... <laughs> you have to bad things, but we, we soon come to that. Now, Mr. Peter David Phillips, current leader of the opposition, would have said yesterday that if he lost the election, he would not only resign as party president, but also step away from representational politics. He has indicated to the party secretariat that they should, in the shortest time possible, make plans to elect a new party leader. Peter Phillips resigns. President of the People's National Party, Dr. Peter Phillips, this morning indicated that he plans to resign as party head and opposition leader. Phillips told a press conference that he has written to the party chairman, indicating his intention and has asked for arrangements to be made to select a new head. He says he intends to remain until a new office holder is selected. Phillips say he will leave it to the party to undertake the exercise. Yeah? Now, the conundrum where the People's National Party find themselves in, in the search of a head, is that the pickings is very small. I mean, unless you're into Philip Paul, well, that is, and Angela Brownberg and Damian Crawford and Lisa Anna, and many persons are starting to say, if you if you, if you follow the thing, them Lisa Anna's performance in South East Saint Anne doesn't show them would not forget, but it's a show a thing. Sorry, don't 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 give them the confidence that they would want. Yeah, understand? Damian Crawford. Is a strange young man. He is popular, and I was thinking something in my head before I came on the stream. And I remember on Thursday night, I was having a discussion with a caller. We were talking about popularity. 
You see, people often mix up or confuse popularity with likability. You understand? You can be well known. But you're not a popular figure in terms of people liking you. We went back to, to, to Mr. Siaga and the PGA comparison. Yeah? Mr. Siaga was well known. Everybody knew Mr. Siaga. But was he popular with the people? Was he very affable? At the time. You understand? So there is a difference between only for people knowing you and only for people knowing you are liking you. You understand? You're not really popular with the girls, you know. You're known to them, but you're not popular with them. They don't really like you like that. But them know you, them see you. They're not no special in that. You feel what I say? So, Damien Crawford is well known. He elicits some type of reaction. Whether liking reaction, me not like him reaction, him talk too much reaction. Him said too much foolishness reaction. You never know where I'm going to say reaction. Some people find him charismatic. Some people find him some other things. So, you never know. You see him? So now, as I asked last night, where does the People's National Party go from here? They are in a quandary. They are facing a conundrum. A whole heap of little things. You understand? And they have a lot of soul searching to do. They have a lot of hard truths to accept if they are willing to do so. And it will be an uphill climb. Because rest assured again. That. The government led by Andrew Wellness Will be trying very hard. To consolidate its position and its favorability in the eyes of the people. Because whether you like it or not, Andrew Wallace is no fool. He will know that in some instances they overperformed in this election. And it is not business as usual because the People's National Party will be coming back somewhere along the line. You understand? So, interesting days ahead. As I said, I like the part of politics here. See, when I talk about when politicians, I do what politicians do, which is scamming and scheming and thieving and a few good things. You understand? We talk about the whole politics of the politics, the wheelings and dealings and the movements and the and the chess movements, the chessboard thing and them local movement. There are some local moves where people not really meds deep. You see? And I asked a few questions because the two names that keep coming up is Damian Crawford and Lisa Hanna. Lisa Hanna, as far as my memory serves, the last time she vied for a post as VP in the People's National Party, she was soundly beaten. Damian Crawford seems unable to win a seat at the moment. I suppose that Philip Stepper, I told you before that in my assessment, he will fill in for Peter Phillips when he step away from his seat. Write it out. You understand? But Damian Crawford, who, according to the people, is arguably the most popular politician in the People's National Party, yet he did not contest a seat. If the man where you think the people them gravitate the most to and like the most can contest a seat in a general election, then what that tell you? Lisa Anna can all her upon a vice president post and, and seemingly is losing control of her constituency, then how does she lead a party at this point in time in the history of the People's National Party? Many questions. You have other vice we can McNeil who some people did a line up. He replaced Phillips when he did sick. Lost his seat. There is no way upon God's green, blue, multicolored earth that Philip Powell should ever 
in a this lifetime or a next, even consider offering himself up to lead the People's National Party. Angela Brown Burke. I don't know how people really feel about Angela Brown Burke. Yes, son. Mark Golden. Does Mark Golden has the support of a wide enough core of the party seeing that he was in support of Bunting against Phillips along the line? Does Mark Golding have it with him to rescue the sinking ship before it hits the seafloor? Because she found the water already, you know. You understand? I just feel like you see the floor now. You see? Who else did it? Do I don't know that the leader of the party has to be a MP anyways? Call back Bunting for some stunty. I don't know Rasta. I could tell you. I don't. That will ever happen. You understand? And I suppose if Mark Golden should assume the leadership of the party, I will find some way to pull him back, Bunting. <laughs> well, yo, it's it going to be interesting going forward, seeing how the PNP get themselves back to some semblance of respectability. While well, it will also be interesting to see how the Prime Minister, with the massive advantage he has now for a mandate and also in the House of Representatives, proceed without becoming arrogant and complacent and forget say are the people them elect him to serve them so a whole heap of little interesting dynamics and development shall come out of this you understand um does the leader of the party have to be an mp i'm not entirely 100 percent sure i did read do some reading on that when them did ride Phillips at the end about. I don't remember if I top of my head. More than likely it will. It should. But I can't say. Smarty in the comments would know still. Um Nicole McCoy said constitutionally it says you have to be an MP. So I, I would want to think so as well. So it's a lot of things, people. You understand? I mean, some of the PNP every week them get thumping at them here last night. Wicker McNeil, Ian Eels, Peter Bunting, Michael Stewart, Victor. A Stewart Victor name to me, I remember. Fenton Ferguson. Imani Duncan Price. Who else? So much of them, I don't even remember. Um, there was supposed to be a recount today. I don't know what is the result of that. Because you have one seat on a cent down a Westmoreland where a JLP brother win it, but very slim margin. Lisa on a seat, slim margin. There's another seat, but I remember. Westmoreland win very slim. So I, I don't know what will be the final count. Zane. So you know. As coffee say, where do they go? And a lockdown after the knockdown. You understand? Um, interesting times. Challenging times. And these times are not only interesting for the People's National Party, but for Jamaica in lieu of the fact that a 14 man got in the opposition. <laughs> The quicker the PNP rebuilds and get themselves together, the better it is for Jamaica's democracy. You understand? Luta Buchanan, down the west there, and so much of them I can't even keep up. You see me, I say? Jaja, this was a referendum on what the people feel about Peter Phillips and also what the people feel about the People's National Party. Victor Wright, make no mistake about it. You understand? And the lower voter, voter turnout complaint no make no sense because I am sure Jamaica Labour Party supporters never go, go vote neither. 
Zayn, Richard Azan, Orius Dali. Try to remember, I don't remember nobody else. You see? Um, this has happened in the political process before where parties would have won in similar fashion. So this is not really nothing new per se. And parties would have recovered and, and, and formed government subsequently. So I suppose um, it is just the People's National Party time. The writing were on the wall from a long time. And as I said, not even the staunchest, die-hard people member of the People's National Party couldn't really confidently tell me so them think the People's National Party was going to win the election. But maybe I say it, I am no political expert analyst. See, I have observed a few elections. I have studied a few little things. And based on my simple assessment, it just wasn't going to happen. You understand what I mean? It just never... Date me camp, big bulldog, date me Campbell. They are top dog. Roof, roof. Doberman Pinchers. Mixed with Rottweiler. Eh? So, it's just part of the thing. Um, for the sake of Jamaica, we hope that they can sort themselves out for our democracy, for good governance, Dewey and Voss, I think Dewey and Voss see it closer. I think that's that one of the ones where um, a recount may happen. You see me? So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, the blame game thing no makes no, 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 no sense. It, it, it achieves nothing. The earlier them start fix them thing and stop complaining, I suppose the earlier them start get themselves back together. You understand? Mm-hmm. Big up to the people them when the building. Big up to the people them who been a like this. Hold on, let me ask you a little thing now. When you go, go put your finger in a hink and on your finger they hink up for days. And vote for some man when you to yeah, do enough things more time. And teach them out here try to do a little thing. And you can't click a little like button. When your finger in a hink up here. You know, I cast on nothing every time I come here. I come off the ask on if I like a thing. And the outside wind up on a bearing in a road in a green or orange. And I ask on if I do is like a street. I like a video of them and them so every day we come here and say the same thing. But when we put on an orange shirt and say like a stream or a green shirt and like a stream. We don't have to go for people for like it. I don't want to stir. Oh, no, stay a good man. Every day we come here, like a stream. On the sound area, teach them. I like when I tell. When I treat me like Asta Black. Promise say we want third party and then Asta Black alone vote for yourself. No real teach. Talk, you know, talk. You understand? You know, you know, believe in a people like that, you know. Because you see people, them different. Eh? Yeah. Big up to the people that like a stream already still. You know my people them. You want them to like a stream, but I, I don't sure still. I like when you know about not so much right now. Every day I come. Every day. And I put on one orange shot and say like this. I want green shot and say like this. It did the more like than people in the street. Then the Bible don't know still. Yeah. I don't feel now we're still. I'm just upset. I do a video in idea where I say carnage as JLP retains power and landslide. Right now, I don't forget to watch it. You know watch it too. You understand? Yeah, man. 828 people are watching stream. So, I better we just have 224 people are watching because they alone like it. So, you are watching it and like it. Then that doesn't make no sense to me. I always try to figure that out. If I if don't like it, I don't go watch it. Then you watch it, then you know, most like it. I'm a strange though. I don't know how I will grow this up. I don't know no grandparents, you know. I don't know grandparents. I'm so good at some grand aunt and some grand uncle. I don't know grandparents and stay so. Yeah, man. But peace, big up on yourself, still. You know, love is always there. See it? Yeah, man, give thanks. 
Um, just a look up overview. I mean, cause I kind of want to move out of the election phase to and deal with some things we are, we are the country. You know what I mean? Because election is yet but one day. You know, we still have to find food put on the table. We still have to send my youths to school. We still have to wear clothes. We still have to do these things. You know what I mean? I say? And them something there. Um, for the people that want to watch the video, I don't know why you don't watch it still, but I may, may share a few look up points. Rejection, carnage, landslide, and wipeout are some of the words being used to describe the massive victory by the Prime Minister elect Andrew Wolness, led Jamaica Labour Party over the People's National Party yesterday, Thursday, the 3rd of September. Now, this mark, so we are, we are, we are teacher look up. This marked the first time that the Jamaica Labour Party was recording back-to-back -back wins in a contested, important contested because in a in a in a eighty uh, uh, eighty three they wouldn't win back to back, but the, the People's National Party never contested the eighty three general election. You understand? But in contested general elections, it is, is the first time that the Jamaica Labour Party is recording back-to-back -back wins in a contested general election since nineteen sixty seven. Then time that my mother and know my father you know, they're not born. You understand? When it retained power having won in 1962. No, so the mauling left a string of PNP big wigs, heavyweight superstars in the wake, in its wake as electors booted the likes of Peter Bunting, who saw that coming, Wicker McNeil, who saw that coming, Horace Daly, who saw that coming, Fenton Ferguson, who saw that coming, Richard Azan, who saw that coming. There was a song. John saw that coming. Me know my tune. Ian Hills, the hero. Play zero. Luther Buchanan. Dayton attack dog Campbell. And some more, man. So, the preliminary count last night showed the JLP winning 49 seats to the PNP's 14. Which to some observers came as no surprise as the public opinion polls had predicted a big win for the Jamaica Labour Party. See? So the PNP is now left in a quandary, such a nice word, as it looks to rebound quickly from the trashing. Now Peter Phillips, now 70 years old, you understand, 3 score and 10, told reporters on Thursdays that he would step down if he lost, he, he indicated that he intends to do so today. However, the problem is, Several of those in the second tiered leadership who, came, who were in line to take over, including Bunting, also lost their seats. The 14 members of parliament elect on the opposition benches include newcomer Lawton Cousins, who won in Southwest Clarendon, retaining the seat once held by Noel R. Scott. By contrast, the Jamaica Labour Party will have at least 14 first time members with quite a number of females. You understand? What about women there parliament? I didn't go to parliament to the car, no woman around there, no, you know. You understand? You know, we like where ladies them there. Yeah, our place. You understand? Eh. Yeah. Anne Marie Vaz. Anne Marie Vaz is a very nice lady. You understand? For your age, like. Lisa Anna. Very nice lady for your age, like. Marisa Dalrymple Philbert. I think Marisa Dalrymple Philbert will become the, lead, the speaker of the house. Don't quote me on that, but I just my little assessment that. I can't tell you why I think so, but one next time. Juliet Cuthbert, Juliet Olness, Carencia Morrison, Marsha Phillips, Krista Lee, Tamika Smith, Angela Brownberg, that are 10, Faval Williams, that are 11, Bob Grange, 12, Um, Tova Hamilton, Rhoda Mia Crawford, Michelle Lee Charles, Michelle, Ch Mich Michelle, Michelle Charles, Pernell Charles daughter, that about 15, we're gone already, you know. Um, Denise Daly, that about 16. Who me left out? I called Tova already. About 16. It's a girl from Gav. You're not telling man. You see? Natalie Nita Edley. That I was 17. It's a lot of females out of 63. Yeah, man. Mr. Crystal Lee. Um, Nico, um, Nikai. See? I don't remember who else. 
Eh, a wali pa lady asa. So you know, by contrast, the Jamaica Labour Party will have at least 14 first time members of parliament, including Michelle Charles in Eastern St. Thomas after defeating Fenton Ferguson, Kerencia Morrison in North East St. Catherine, I think she defeated Oswald Senior Smith, Donovan Williams in Central Kingston, he defeated Imani Duncan Price, Crystal Lee, he, she defeated Dayton Campbell in St. and Northwest. Philip Enriquez, he defeated, I think, Richard Azan in a Clarendon. Marlon Wilson, he defeated Wicca McNeil, I think. Dwight Siblis, I don't remember who Dwight defeat in Northern Clarendon. Arias Daly, I think. Nesta Morgan, he defeated Dr. Brennan in Central Clarendon. Delroy Slowly in Northeast St. Elizabeth. A older I slowly defeat. But I remember. But yeah. Oh, you have Marlene Malahu Fort as well. Bombard Star. It's a lot. Eh. Mm. Mm. So when I wonder around later when my woman might listen, then if my woman even listen, she knows that I just have a look of fun. You understand? She's an intelligent woman, you know. You understand? Eh. Yeah. She don't mind me around the ladies, them. She, she know me a beef. <laughs> Zin, so you know, Thursday's election saw the lowest ever voter turnout in just 37%. This is a cause for concern. I suppose you can attribute some of it to the coronavirus situation. Zane, but the voter turnout has been trending down for a while. It was 47.7% in 2016, 10% reduction. There were 1.9 registered voters, Zane, and a million people not go out to vote. About 800,000 people, roughly, give or take. You understand? So, it would suggest removing COVID from it that. People are still not enthused to participate in the political process. People are frustrated. People are disenchanted. Zin. Um, people don't feel that either party better than the other. Zin. And it is not good for a democracy where we can't see a situation where 70% of the electorate go go cast them vote. COVID was a major factor, Kelly. Believe me, when I tell you, it was a major factor. Yeah? A major factor. Many people who never go vote because they them not chance it. See? I mean, people who not believe said none of the party them better was a major factor too. So... But trust me, it was it was a major fa- You may see all of our people out there are frolic, you know. But you have some people who just lock down, now go on no road. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Um, eh, all these political things. Thursday's elections are the lowest ever voter turnout at just 37%. The JLP secured 57.1% of the votes cast, while the PNP got 42.8%. So, the, the Jamaica Labour Party not only won the most constituencies, they also won the popular vote. They amassed 406,085 votes, while the PNP got 304,372. So, over 102 more thousand people vote for the JLP. Yeah, opinion polls had for months signaled the JLP would win big. And in August, political commentator Kevin O'Brien Chang said that the party was on course to win 50 seats. He was off by just one. I call Bob's name Elder, um, LD. Yeah, man, I call, I call most, I think I call all the ladies them names, I know, man. I think, maybe, hopefully. You see? So Kevin O'Brien Chang was off by one. He said the Jamaica Labour Party would have won 50. Um, the 149. The numbers may change subsequently. I suppose people will be seeking magisterial recount. Possibly. Who knows? 
You see it? And thing. Less than 25% of the army voted. Um, Father Makai, big up yourself in a broski. You know, we appreciate the support first and foremost. You understand? We appreciate the, the, the financial contribution as well. Give thanks. You see me? Eh, so you know, that is that. Um, the PNP is in tatters. Seeing, um, in ruins. Um, their very existence is in question. Maybe not. I am probably just exaggerating. But they have a lot of work to do. Um, Kamala, I, I'm assuming you're speaking about Kamina Johnson-Smith. She's not an MP. Um, she's a senator. And a portfolio minister. But she's not a member of parliament. She has no, no seat. She did not contest the general election. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> yes, Rasta. So I can move on now. Um, as I shared with you yesterday, a man was killed in Anova after casting his vote. Yeah, man, I call Juliet Cuthbert for the name already, man. I call most of the women them names. I think I call all of them names, you know. See? It's like Dan and the Paul can see the future. Oh, yeah, prediction and point. Eh, Dan and this one, Bill Johnson blew that. Knew that. You understand? All the polls were suggesting that for a long time. The People's National Party said the polls were biased and um, they don't believe in the polls. You know, political parties tend not to believe in the polls unless it is favoring them for some strange political reason. Um, Peyton Row, pick up yourself and a brother, brother, for the contribution over upon PayPal, you know. One as I respect every time. You understand? Um, Peyton Row is Peyton Place. See, pick up yourself, brother, brother. Give thanks. Yeah, man. Yes, Rasta. Um, mm, as a matter of fact, I, I don't know what, 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 Dr. Andre. Ah, uh, now for say about Dan Anderson, I know because he must say Dan Anderson no sensibly, he, he no qualify for the no polls, he no have no academic qualification. And if the PNP win, they then get rid of all pollsters when I have no certification. People never too love that. You understand? So, him say for him poll, his internal poll in the constituency had him defeating Marlene Malahu for it comfortably. Um, I don't know. It, it, it looked like him poll. Name Paul good like so I don't know still you see mm. and Dr Andre Arten is 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 still young politically he he may yet have a lot to contribute he has good ideas I think how he communicates his ideas sometimes may needs um modification he says a lot of things that he has to step back on and sometimes I think despite the fact that he has a lot of paper qualifications and stuff and he's a lecturer a professor at the university and has a doctorate and stuff um that not always mean everything in 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 real in the reality yeah that's what i mean i say so dr art need for probably spend some more time you know what i mean doing some more research zane formulating his opinions before sharing them Teacher, I think the lady who beat Bunting in Manchester. Yeah, man, Rhoda May Crawford, man. I call her name in a Sheldon. I never leave her out. I call her name, man. And thing. So, yeah. It's one of the it's one of the, 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 the youngsters in the political landscape who you yeah, hope one day can can bring some of him ideas them to fruition, be it as a minister, member of government or a MP. Uh, yeah, and I said, I mean, I said, in whichever um, respects. See, Damien is a man where a lot of people think a lot of things of some good, some bad. He also has potential to, to, to make a difference in a positive way when he changes his approach and, and the weight of his tongue needs a little bit of training. He needs to get a little heavier and tongue light. You understand? I think people like Crystal Tomlinson, you know, she says some, she, for some strange reason, the young people, them and the PNP, be not say some things with them, if you had backtrack, you know, or people don't really agree with, in no way, shape, or form. She has made some statements where people have beaten her bad for it. But I think she's also one of them who has a, a role to play in the future of the country, whether it is as an MP, whether it is as um, 
a senator, whether it is as somebody that the political process, I don't know. You understand? Zane? And we're just talking about the youngsters over on the People's National Party side. Zane, those are the three that jumps out. Raymond Price, um, some people like Raymond, some people don't for various reasons. He also may have some things to contribute to, to, to the country, but he would have lost to Imani Duncan Price in the by-election and him, him lose in the general election to Orlando Terrellang. Um So there is still hope. You understand? Um, who, else, who else in the PNP ranks as young people who I think have potential to serve the country in some capacity in the future? Um, not sure. Uh, McCall, Arton, Crawford, Tomlinson, um, Price. Uh, yeah. Over upon the people, the Jamaica Labour. I know I was observing something about the Jamaica Labour Party last night. You see? The Jamaica Labour Party has endeared itself so much to the Jamaican population that Andrew Olness could have used at least three to five other people and them win a seat. Delano Franklin. Delano, so I mean, Andre Franklin. Zin is one such person. Matthew Samuda is another such person. Kamina Johnson Smith is another such person. Delano Seavright is another such person. So the Prime Minister had so much resource as it, at his disposal compared to the People's National Party. Who we saw, you know, Fenton Ferguson and and some Aureus Daly and some man we are from a long time. Even though we still see Mike Henry and Carl Samuda and and um and um Delroy Chuck and Warmington and Aureus Chang, see me. But many of those people have said that. They will be stepping away. Warmington said he will be stepping away soon. Um, Oris Chang says he will be stepping away soon. With Mike Henry, you never know. You understand? So, those were people who, based on abilities, could have delivered seed for the Jamaica Labour Party. Kamina Johnson Smith, Matthew Samuda. I think Matthew will probably take his father's seat in the future. I don't know. Matthew Samuda. Kamina Johnson Smith, Andre Franklin, Delano Seavright. Zin, a whole heap of ammunition that you know. Zin, over on the Jamaica Labour Party side, you know. I mean, we see Tova Hamilton coming through and Rhoda May Crawford, who seem to be very um, enthused and filled with fresh ideas and things. Time will tell. Zin. Um, I think that the politician, the young politician in the Jamaica Labour Party with the most, with the highest ceiling in terms of future achievements is probably Floyd Green. Um, he, as I said, I have said it before, I am being an educator and looking at the current slate of MPs before the election. Floyd Green should have been running the Ministry of Education. I said that a million times. Um, I suppose you need somebody who is young and vibrant over agriculture. I suppose he will probably assume leadership for the ag agriculture portfolio from Ardisha. I don't know that Ardisha will be given any ministerial responsibility this time. Ardisha has, has served the party very well. Um, the country in some respects as well. But I think... Adley Shaw is, is in the twilight of his political career and such. Um, Alanda Terrellang is, is somebody as well who many persons see with a bright political future. Um, so, I mean, it's just we hope that these young politicians don't get caught up in a, the, the old way of politics in Jamaica. Put it that way. Steve Wright will get a safe seat soon. Just waiting on a retirement. I think Steve Wright could have him own win a seat, you know. Um, Von Byrne Whiteley, big up yourself in the family out of Canada, you know. I appreciate the support on the channel. I appreciate the contribution, as always. Blessings every time. So, man, I all get quiet, though. I think his health is, is part of that reason. Um, he went about his business quietly and delivered his constituency. For the party, I think Floyd Green may replace him as agriculture minister in the future. Um, so I suppose the J the, the Jamaica Labour Party 
is is ahead in its renewal process that the people's national party they are injecting a lot of young people vibrant people educated people and we hope that these youngsters politically don't get caught up in the old archaic antiquated way of jamaican politics and they can start to make a difference nigel clark is fairly young politically as well he too many people see as even potentially the future leader of the jamaica labor party um who knows as it relates to that so wallipa wallipa people wallipa people so the renewal in the jlp is moving a little bit faster if you really sit down and look at it yeah so let me say this is now a chance for the people's national party to push renewal <coughs> you see me to get some youngsters involved in the thing see and to move out some dead wood dead weight yeah dead log you see me yeah so yeah we could move on for answer you know because we're done with that um somebody was shot and killed outside a polling station in hanover yesterday after casting his vote um there's no indication that it is politically linked two men rode up on a bike open the pillion rider open fire hitting him he died on the spot i think um also a man was killed during election celebration in westmoreland sorry guys a man was stabbed and killed during election celebrations in savannah lamar about 1 50 this afternoon reports reaching the observer are that a group of party supporters was gathered at a gas station located at dunbar's river in westmoreland in the westmoreland capital when an altercation developed between two of the revelers revelers People claiming to be eyewitnesses reported that one man was stabbed and the other chopped, which triggered a riot. Police who were on the scene fired multiple shots in the air to disperse the crowd, which ended the celebrations prematurely. The incident was confirmed by the Savannah Lamar police, who stated that the man who was stabbed succumbed to his injuries and the person with the chop wounds is currently being treated at the hospital. No arrests have been made, the police said. Aye, sir. Politics time again. Teacher Peter, you call deadlock. <laughs> I no call nobody day me I just say some people did meet for move on. Get them groove on. You understand? Eh? Them de too long. You see me? Man I suffer too long. We are suffer too long. How sing that song there go? I act in. Well, I'm to I act in. I ain't not hearing enough song for I act in one time. Man, I suffer too long. I suffer too long. I'm going to listen about that tune. I'm going to it. Mm. Nico. That name is all over. And I suppose the observer would have played into that with this headline Nico killed in Manchester. The observer is easy, you know. I think the observer is the most creative. Of the media, how of the print outlets in terms of titling their articles, them them have a, them have a look away about them. You understand? Two them know say the name Nico popular. You know, it could them be Manchester and killed in Manchester. They then said a Nico. Guys, the man named Nico still, but I see what them do. Like, me sit through observe a headline the most of the time, and I'm just laugh, you know. So I see you guys. You understand? Police are following several leads into Monday night's killing of 23-year-old Nico Smith and the wounding of another man by a gunman in the community of Greenvale on the outskirts of Mandeville. So head of the Manchester Police Superintendent Gary Francis said that um, the brother of the deceased was recently killed in a similar attack. At this time, we are probing a number of different leads. The victim of this crime, his brother was murdered a few weeks ago in St. Catherine in a similar fashion, a drive-by shooting, Francis said. Interesting. <laughs> People report, well, police reports are that about 7.30 p.m., Smith and another man were walking along a road in the Greenville community when a car drove up with gunmen who opened gunfire hitting them both. Smith was shot in the upper body, while the other man was shot in his right elbow and knee. They were both taken to hospital where Smith was pronounced dead and the other man treated and discharged. 
Interesting. The observer, a real mix of paper. You know, I don't really think so. You know. I think I, of all the newest papers in the country, the observer is the paper that I trust the most. Uh, yeah. I think I've said that before. Zane, Auntie. Eh, yeah. them have a look who you about them still. Them creative in you know, a them title in of articles. Um, something, something look like something wrong somewhere, Malik. I don't know, but his brother was killed in a drive-by recently. He was killed in a drive-by. Something, something, something. Man wanted for murder came to foot. First thing. You know me didn't appreciate the election call. But if I just for that reason. I'm glad the election was held. The man they wanted. And <laughs> but you know, um, that being said, it is good that the powers that be were able to apprehend these men. See, because them couldn't go vote and gone about them business, you know. Um the man say all votes matter. <laughs> You know what I'm curious to find out is which two part is which part of them two man you got to vote for. It's that me they want to know. Big up to the polling workers, them and the police. The man they wanted for murder and all sorts of things, and the man them turn up a polling station so they might go vote. They might go vote for which police government that got Send police come for them. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, yeah, Stan. It's not one man in a Malik. You feel it's one. It's not one. I wonder what kind of thought process then go through the man in the when they decide to go vote though. Me don't like to talk to them. <laughs> Joseph for seven weeks. I would want to ask them a few questions. One. One. <laughs> Jaja. Ja. Yo, Jamaica is the best place in the world. Isn't it? Despite all the challenges and the struggles in this country and the crime and corruption, Jamaica never fail. Never a boring day in here, man. You understand? I was wondering, you know what Dr. Brennan, the tea spread out, came down a Clarendon there, I want to go to the polling station, and I have to go back down there for my donkey. You understand? Then I don't know how the man thing spread out in our politics. I have to go back for spread out around one place, around one part. You see me? Mm. Spread out good again, man. We take off all color and paraphernalia after spread out. Wash him off and then sit in it. Came to see it. Wash off saltness and them things, cause you know what I think. <laughs> Man wanted for a murder came to vote. Guess who were waiting for him? You understand? The police say they apprehended two men who were on their most wanted list during a set of operations on election day, Thursday, the third of September. One man was held in St. Mary and the other in St. Andrew. The police said one of the men was wanted by the St. Andrew Central Police in relation to an April, 29 mur April 2019 murder. He was nabbed when he turned up to vote in August Town in the parish on Thursday. So if an August Town a constituency that was contested between Faithful Williams and Venetia Phillips, I wonder who he got vote for. I would like to know, you know. Meanwhile, police officers attached the St. Mary Proactive Investigation Unit, nabbed the other man who was wanted for two murders, which were committed in St. Anne and St. Mary. The man was held in Lewis Tour in St. Mary. 
The identities of both men have been withheld by the police to facilitate further investigation. <laughs> Mr. Sir said all of the wanted man them never go vote. We have a polling station for wanted men. All wanted men vote here. You're voting for the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Major General Anthony Anderson going to be your president. Security post 11 shall be the house where we afford to you. Run a rise in there. Guarded by some men from the Jamaica Defense Force. You shall receive three meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. With a roof over your head and grill on your windows. <laughs> Miss Melissa Merchant, how are you, Empress? Good night. Hope all is well. Aye, uh, sir. Aye, uh, sir. Gun hold a book for allegedly breaching election day protocol. 46 year old Anthony Walters, a truck driver and licensed firearm holder of Gregory Park in St. Catherine, was arrested and charged on Thursday, September 3rd, for allegedly breaching election day laws. He has been charged with being armed with an offensive weapon within 100 meters of a polling station. Eh? Oh, oh I, I, I name him as the law that exists, you know. 100 meter like. That close, you know. Yeah. Reports are at about 9 a.m. Police personnel on duty at the polling station in the Lauriston community in St. Catherine observed Walters with what appeared to be a weapon and quickly intercepted him. He was searched and a firearm was found on his person. He was taken into custody and the firearm was seized. A date for his appearance in court is being finalized by the police. It would be interesting to see how this... Because I don't know that Mr. Walters had any ill will or ill intent. I think he went to vote. You understand? Um, Jaja. It's rough, you know. Because I want to tell you, so Mr. Walters, good as coming out of the polling station and if you draw a fin gun in a car, man, good as out there, look for him to you, know. Or uh, as a license for him, he could then go out there and want robbery to go on and him, him intervene, you know. But say, if you know enough to walk with the gun, go there still. So then lock you up in a safe, but then, as good as a day, uh, all, <laughs> as good as a day when you need a gun, you left your yard, you know. You're good as carry your gun every day. Every day. 364 days of the year and the one day you don't carry it at the day when you need it. <laughs> Boy, I'm not left it. Um, Z Tech. I think, I, I, I suppose that some fine will be in that. I don't know. Ali Dan, big up yourself. I just see the message in the Rasta. Um, I so, I so much it up on thing. Zin? I hope I'm not impressing, so I may check it in a few and see. The other rules like this was, if other rules like this was strict. That's a good point, um, Ken I Brown. That, that's a very good point. You yeah, understand? Um, eh. The thing is that still, a good as a day them did need a gun. And him good as it left your yard and you know what thing go. I, I don't know still. Mm. We well, say he had a he had an offensive weapon while the security forces had a defensive weapon. <laughs> I suppose the rule is the rule, sir. But some rules I don't know still. I mean, any little thing can trigger off in a polling station, they say, you know, so it's risky to you know. Cause anyone any man couldn't come through with gun and then sit near you, know, you can't go, go, go check every man. Um if a license gun they have, you go check everybody with, with for them for them firearm license. It, it, I suppose I understand why you don't want to have that rule there. Zane. Um, why I don't know. Mm. So that way. Look what say I am interested to see how this plays out because I've never really remember seeing a situation like this before. Um, so I would be interested to see how it plays out for, for, to edify myself on the process going forward. Is it is it is it my screen alone buffering? My mother hopes so. Re re refresh a stream. Um, hopefully the stream remain good. Yeah, son. He probably don't know a laugh at you in a mark star. He probably don't know that that was a laugh at you still. 
and thing. Well, I don't know still. Yeah. I don't know. Man arrested for illegal possession of firearm. So cops from the St. Andrew North Police Division arrested a man for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition during a joint operation in the Grand Spen community on Thursday. I think we see some people that Grand Spen today in a show of support for Peter Phillips. So they want to support him. I don't know. But yeah. But glimpse is something I never read it because I got the time. The police reported at about 2 p.m. a team was in the area when a man was seen acting in a manner that arose here suspicion. He was accosted, searched, and a Taurus pistol with a magazine containing 9 9mm rounds was found in a bag he had in his possession. He was subsequently arrested. However, his identity is being withheld pending further investigation. Firearm seized following St. Andrew crash. Cops assigned to the St. Andrew Central Division seized two firearms and several rounds of ammunition after responding to a vehicular crash. Vehi vehicular. I said I'm pronouncing that. Man, vehicular one crash. If we go learn from vehicular. That's what I hear them say, you know. I never think about that word before, you know. We just say vehicular. I could have said pronouncing, you know. Man, I forgot to check it. Right on the road up on my checklist. On Palmoral Avenue on Thursday. I don't know of no Palmoral Avenue. I want for Palmoral Avenue. But I don't know. Palmoral. Which part want Palmoral Avenue there? Which person you know, Kelly? The one where they find the gun in their bag. Or the lights of fire mola. But say what you're going on now? Um, the crash happened about 8.50 p.m. On arrival, the police reportedly observed two men fleeing the scene and an injured man in a disabled Toyota motor car. The cops rendered aid to the injured man and he was assisted to hospital. The vehicle was searched and the police say a bag containing one Taurus 9mm pistol with six rounds of ammunition and one 9mm Beretta containing one round was seized. The man remains in custody under police guard. <laughs> there is a bad luck was on over here. I'm glad nobody not dead in a crash. I'm glad the crash go on. So like how I'm glad to them man they go vote up an election there. I'm glad that crash go on. Two gun that. Yeah, so <laughs> oh, the one here. <laughs> Balik say kill it because <laughs> God in a bag. Yeah. He, he, he have the gun in our one bag. Hey, <laughs> what's your Kelly? Because. So, I'm glad for that look who crash him. I'm glad so nobody not dead like. I'm glad the crash go on. Two gun him on them fine. One time. You understand? Eh. Yeah. Two more guns off the street. They need to find them two men to run. Yes, Rasta. No peeps. On. One day. I think it was Wednesday, Wednesday evening. I did a video about. A hostage situation, reported hostage situation in Junction St. Elizabeth. But after doing that video and uploading that video, more information became available which suggested that the part of the video would say that the police were able to apprehend two men was proven to be incorrect. I never take down the video. Zane... Um, I thought about doing so, but I would have spoken to it um, before. Thanks, 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 comes. Um, I normally know if you go listen to the pronunciation. Uh, we go yourself. I will check it later. Yeah, sir. Um, I would have explained while I, I think I had a call in stream on Wednesday night of the situation and stuff. So. I would have also placed a, a pin comment saying that some of the information may have been um, incorrect since, well, as more information became available after the video was posted. So, we need for address this. See? Normally, I would delete the video, but I don't know that the information in the video was so skewed in a wrong way that I needed to have removed it. But let me just set the time out to clear up that still. And then I was... The, the live stream there and then the next day I wake up early and go drive up and down on the road 
and coming back and stream for four hours last night. I mean, never bother take it down. Yeah, son? Robbers take large sum of cash in Junction, St. Elizabeth Heist. So it was reported that the police are more land pan two and all sorts of things. But let me just clear up that now. So the police are reporting that robbers who struck at a financial service outlet in Junction, St. Elizabeth, early on Wednesday afternoon escaped with a large undetermined sum of money. Initially, it was reported that the robbers had been caught. That is the information that I got. Yeah? And I also see the police, them a walk with some man from out of the building. So me, they think of that going for true. Apparently, those men were, were, were apprehended wrongly. Yeah? Mistakenly. But further in the afternoon, several videos surfaced online with police officers cording off streets and talking on patrol megaphones in what appeared to be a hostage situation. Another video showed a tactical team moving with speed and purpose towards the outlet to execute an arrest. Now it has emerged that the robbers had actually left before the cops arrived. And that um, a bit of street theatre played itself out to a limp conclusion. Reports are that about 2 p.m., three men entered the financial establishment and held a cashier and customers. At gunpoint, they proceeded to rob the establishment of an undetermined sum of money. An alarm was raised and the police were quickly called to the location and used loudspeakers to appeal to the robbers to surrender. I suppose the robbers have gone long time. Eyewitnesses reported that the police were seen leaving the building with men. Me said that video there too. But it is now understood that customers who were earlier in the building had remained when the police responded to the reported acid situation. So the man them escaped. Yeah, so let me say, so I don't know, I don't know Rasta. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just clear up that. Yeah? Um, Saint and husband slapped with murder charge after wife's fiery death. A Saint Anne man who allegedly set fire to a shop with his wife locked inside the structure on Saturday, August 1, resulting in her death, has been charged by detectives in the parish. The suspect, 36-year-old um, Crangain Rattery, no brain Rattery, I don't know, of Civil Heights in Prairie, has been charged with murder, assault, occasioning, occasioning grievous bodily harm, and arson. Reports are that about 12 a.m. Ratri had a disagreement with his spouse, allegedly about monies raised from the opening of their shop. The disagreement reportedly escalated and he allegedly poured gasoline into the shop and set it ablaze with his wife locked inside. A report was made to the police and Ratri was picked up at home later the same day and was subsequently charged. A date for his appearance in court is being finalized by the police. Uh, how big that shop they be? Uh, how much money that shop they make in that opening? That was worth locking your spouse, your wife, inside and setting the blaze. And go home like nothing not happened. Um, Jefferson said a few hours from me, actually. Jaja. Um, that sounds like something I built up a long time. Something wrong. But I don't know. When I carry feelings. Wow. Tamara Geddes, a young lady from Trelawney who was killed by Wolipa people. Seven accused in Tamara Geddes murder remanded. So the seven people charged in connection with the murder of 36-year-old Tamara Geddes who was shot and killed at her reserve Trelawney home. In the presence of her 10-year-old daughter on Friday, June 19, were remanded when they appeared in the Trelawney Parish Court earlier today. The accused include her sister, 39-year-old Nadine Geddes, and her two daughters, 21-year-old Shanice Ruddock, and a minor, 
a fourth woman, 33-year-old Tashana Young, as well as 55-year-old farmer Owen Irving, both of Hampton District in Salt Spring, St. James, Brian Shelley and Rexron Knott, both of Norwood, St. James, were charged in connection with the murder. They are to return to court on Wednesday, the 14th of October. It takes seven people involvement to kill one woman for no reason at all. You understand? Sisters killing sisters, brothers killing brothers, fathers killing sons. These are some serious times. Bona man eat out the shop. All I can see around us is just violence and crimes. Full time for us to realize. Egyptian man. Speaking about Egyptian, you know I've been... Alright. Let me write that down. Ninja! Man. I look up. Big up yourself, Ninja. Man has a respect. Seven times rise, seven times fall. I don't really believe in uh, in things at all. Ah yeah, boy. Crime stop pays eight point three million dollars in rewards. Some people been attacked some things that has been leading to arrest and charges. Yeah, son. Crime Stop paid $8.3 million in rewards last year, according to the Economic and Social Survey, Jamaica 2019, a publication of the Planning Institute of Jamaica. So the report notes that from the 1,050 calls received, 101 arrests were made, which included 28 for illegal possession of firearm, 17 for illegal gambling, 13 for murder, I wish the murder was, was 101, and 12 for lottery scamming. We give thanks, you understand? Because, right, I know, the police alone can't do that something here, you know. You understand? It will have to go play a part, you know. Because crime is everybody's business. An analysis of the cars received showed that 302 were in relation to illegal firearm and ammunition, 224 for gunmen. 99 for wanted persons, 53 drug related, 48 for murders, 27 for illegal activities, 24 for illegal gambling, 21 for stolen motor vehicles, and 19 for lottery scamming. That no bad at all. Big up to you people, them. Eh? Yeah, man. As Kelly in community involvement. You see me? Are there something need for go? We don't keep no secret for no guy. It's a task force they had. You mean in relation to Tamara? There were also 28 tips received via internet sources. From information received, the following were seized or recovered. 55 illegal firearms and 2,289 rounds of ammunition. 1,850.7 kilograms of cured marijuana and two stolen motor vehicles. The report further notes that there was a discovery of 2.1 hectares of marijuana cultivation. The value of narcotics seized or discovered was approximately 25.8 million and the total value of property recovered was approximately 12.8 million dollars, the document states. Since the inception in September 1989, Crime Stop has received 28,651 calls, of which 22,421 were investigated. This has led to 2,564 arrests for 347, well, 347 for murders. The seizure of narcotics valued just over 804.7 million and the recovery of property valued at approximately $253.6 million. Um, so Crime Stop. I play a part. You understand? Soldier Ricky so I go on. You see? We give thanks because I saw we are going to treat with the crime situation, you know, because police alone can't do it. The military alone can't do it. They got to take every well thinking, law abiding Jamaican citizen at home and abroad. You understand? For help fix yard. You know a thing. Go. Um, 
Damien Lee, big up yourself in a family, you know what I think, you know? I broke a jam of Palmer, the man that report the weed. Poor thing can't sleep to how it's strong. <laughs> you see, the problem with the weed in a Palmer is that some of the man them where plant weed and I sell weed, I sell if you buy guns, brother. So you can't even to to take no, no weed check now, you know? You understand? Boy, I don't know. Weed tick, boy, I don't know. Um, some, some, some sad story read the entertainment fraternity peeps. Zane, why well, entertainment fraternity is plagued with, with trials and tribulations, you know. Um, my very good friend at this time, Alazade, suffered a stroke. Um, I did not get around to do a video because of other commitments at the time and stuff he is recovering his speech is is is, is returning um i have not spoken directly to him um since because i really want you know crowd him but i've been in 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 conversation with his best friend danny english um haven't spoken to him in a few days i intend to go and visit with alazade as soon as he's able to receive visitors saying hello a cool youth you understand what I say? And the interaction that I would have had with him before the interview, during the interview, and since the interview, had reaffirmed that in my mind that he's really a good youth. You understand? Um, he knows that he has some things that he needs to work on personally in terms of his weight and stuff. That would have been a contributing factor. And um, I am certain that he will take steps to treat with that situation. I am happy that he's still around. Um, he is very positive about it and thing, and hopefully his recovery will be very quick. You understand? Cause them things I wanna wish them for no man. Zane, um, Major Mackerel. You know I've been trying to find Major Mackerel for a while and stuff. It was very unfortunate when I learned that he had to have one of his legs amputated in the in the states recently um uh he, he seems very positive about the situation um it was a choice between his leg and probably his life eventually so they decided that it was best for the amputation to take place that again is rough especially for a performer who needs his leg to you know it's rough but we have to do we have to do don't um Legendary reggae singer Toots Hibbert is currently in, in coma. Um, he, by all accounts, is actually fighting for his life. I would have done a video the other day that he was admitted to hospital. I'll talk about Toots in a few. Um, reggae singer Pad Anthony is also dead. This is a picture of, of Anthony. Singer Hartley... Um, Anthony, O.C. Pat Anthony Wallace. See it? Well, Hartley Wallace, O.C. Pat Anthony. Um, a popular figure on the sound system circuit during the 1980s, died in Kingston on the 28th of August. Anthony, who was pronounced dead at the Kingston Public Hospital, was 57 years old. His son, Sean, told the observer that an autopsy will determine the cause of death. Born... Artley Anthony Wallace. Pad Anthony was from the Painlands community in Kingston. He began his recording career at Channel One Studio in the late 1970s, cutting covers of Alton Ellis's Black Man's World, well, Black Man's Word and Ray Charles's Crying Time, but by Roots Radix Band. So in the 1980s, Anthony established himself as a sound system um, force, performing regularly on the Black Star sound system along fellow singers. Opton Linda, Danny Dredd, and Tiger. He also recorded and performed for producer Lloyd King James. Um, James, label and sound system. James produced A Murder, one of his biggest hits. Through his association with James, Anthony developed a bond with producer Robert Bobby Digital Dixon and Steely and Cleavy, who were in house engineers and musicians at James' studio. And his biggest hit was Bobby Digital Produce, Shake Them Down. Who have the title produced by Steely and Cleavy remains a sound clash favorite. So Hartley um is survived by his wife, Georgia, eight children, and four grandchildren. I must admit to you, I am not familiar 
per se with um Pad and Tony. The songs mentioned I, I meant to go on and listen to them earlier, but I never get for that. So I will be doing that over the weekend and stuff. Um condolences to Mr. Wallace's family and thing. Um Baba Digital passed recently. Baba in the past recently. The great man, some have him as the father of reggae. Frederick Tootsie Bert is currently fighting for his life. Tootsie Bert is in critical condition at the University Hospital of the West Indies in St. Andrew. The veteran reggae singer was transferred to the medical facilities intensive care unit on Monday. He is fighting for his life. We are still awaiting the results of COVID-19 tests. The family is asking for privacy and prayers at this time. As they navigate this difficult period, Claude Mills, his Jamaican publicist, told the Observer, I think Claude Mills also worked with Loop. We are monitoring his progress and we will be issuing a statement when we have an update, he continued. Meanwhile, members of the music fraternity took to social media to offer words of encouragement to the 77-year-old entertainer. Ah, <sighs> boy. Auntie, when I forgot you what them say, Mr. Moxie Priest here, so speaking about Moxie Priest, um, hopefully that becomes possible one of them time. I've been trying to get that interview, as he was in Jamaica for a while recently, um, no luck on that as yet. Uh, speaking about Father Tootsie Bert, um, I would have spoken with Toots a number of times um, in February. February, there, there about early March, about the possibility of an interview. He had agreed. Um, a date was mentioned, and when I sought confirmation for that date, he would have said that um, in consultation with his manager, um, she will have to give the go ahead for that and some other stuff. And unfortunately, it never worked out. Um, I did not push it after that. Um, he said he would have gotten back to me. Never happened. Um, you know, I never feel the drive for, for push again. Seeing that we had confirmed a day and on me following up to ensure that everything was in place for that day, yeah, I was told that, you know, he would have spoken to his management. I suppose, I think that may be his wife as well. And everything changed. So, so um, it was one of them things. I sincerely hope that the great man will be able to pull through. Um, legend. You understand what I mean? Legendary. Um, I saw Toots recently during the popular song competition. Seemed very okay. He released his latest album, um, Got To Be Tough, just the week before he... He was hospitalized. As a matter of fact, another great man that I've been trying to get a sit down with. Bonnie Whaler suffered a stroke recently. Um, his wife is still missing as well. So, I never did even push that at the time because I know that he was in the process of trying to locate his wife. And from the show that I heard that he had suffered a stroke. He's currently in an institution where he's receiving um recovery therapy so i hope that the great man's recovery is is still ongoing um his wife miss joan gray his wife zane yeah so two, these are two of the greatest men in the history of the music you know they're two years in that it would have been awesome to have had the opportunity to sit down and reason with them you understand for my own um personal gratification and documentation of their journey i mean other people have but i have not done it so you know i think um i sincerely hope that i will be afforded the opportunity in that they will be able to recover in the shortest possible time you understand i would have also had agreement confirmation per se with the great Derek morgan um that was organized by one of my 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 subscribers moderators viewers still is here right now 
and upon seeking confirmation again because it was in the height of the covid thing and i wasn't going on the road at the time and when we think the thing did kind of stabilize somewhat i spoke to the great man he said that you know i'm not really interested in that right now um, no more so you know these things happen um one of the challenges that we face as we go along is that you know the bigger the thing become um we have been facing a few challenges along the way you know we don't want to seek we don't want to um choose we want to load up certain things but um it shows that you know the thing i get some credibility and it, it i read some people um people are making some people have been making demands which which won't happen you understand and so we interview who is available we interview who wants to be interviewed and some people to also don't see the interviews as something that they're interested in and i assume because you know we may not be as big as a winford williams or a anthony miller but we are work and you know interview by interview the reputation is being built and the word is getting out there um we have reached a stage where entertainers have been seeking us out now you understand and you know people have been saying teach I mean this and I mean do that and it would be nice and you know so we give thanks. Um you won't be able to interview everybody. See? So I saw it go. Um but for Toots, I sincerely hope that the great man will be able to, you know what I mean, pull through and can spend some time some more time with his family. See he's what, seventy seven years old now. Um the great Jabby Bonnie I sincerely hope that his recovery um, and therapy is going apace and he will be able to, you know what I mean, get back to as close as possible to his normal self in, in the shortest possible time. You understand? So, we just have to take our time and, and I do the thing. See, um, <laughs> I remember when I started. I remember the day I started, I remember the artist I started with, which is Arkai, my brother that, my friend that. Um, I intend to redo that interview one day because, I mean, it wasn't the best interview visually, audio, probably question-wise and things. So one day, I probably, one of them days, you understand? So we just have to take a little time. The interviews mean a lot to me, means a lot to the channel, you understand? The watch time that I get from these interviews is amazing um the, the the interest in the channel is amazing as i relate to that i'm allowed to drop my link no still enough father jamar when i really do that something else still you know um if you have a channel still and you want me shout it out still but no you just tell me the channel name and me shout it out if you drop the link you now go show up anyway so yeah man but i appreciate the contribution still yeah son um you need the big versus interview to turn over the channel and we, we take a look at time, brother, and I do the thing the right way. You know what I mean? Um, just one step at a time. There's one more thing that I want to address before I go. And it is in relation to this gentleman, um, Daryl Cummings, more popularly known as Triple X. I would have done a video recently saying that he was arrested in the United States for petty theft. Um, some people say they've never believed and thing, but you know, we, we kind of ensure so our thing balance before revealing. Um, my concern, why I'm saying it, is in, I think he did some live the other day. Um, I don't know if he um, denied the allegations or what, but I know he was arrested. And that is what I reported. Um, I have never met the gentleman. Um, I have nothing against the gentleman. <laughs> I report on developments in relation to Jamaicans at home and abroad. Zane, um, irrespective of who you are or what you are involved in, if it's a story I think I need to do, I do it. My concern is that in looking at some of the comments, I noticed a particular trend where people were suggesting that Blessings Jamar. So just tell me what the channel name and what make the people them know. 
people were suggesting that it was wrong of me to do the video because I will now make it hard for him to do business and these things and he's a Jamaican and we have to look out for each other. And I find that perspective most I don't even know most what I probably can say. Zane, um, Sir Liebert Peart, blessings for the contribution over on PayPal, my friend. Really and truly appreciate. Oh, so the channel name is, is Jamar Goss. Um, hopefully, I have good works I do over there. You know? so people I'm go over there, good things they must see. You know what I mean? And thing. Um, basically, Somebody even went as far as to say they hope I have never done anything wrong and if the day come and me do something wrong, me not going to have no problem. Then family, if me do something wrong, a man will report upon it. And of them send me go do something wrong, it's me do it. You understand? I have, I have observed on many occasions where Jamaicans have sought to defend people who have been caught in stealing. One of the one of the popular excuses is that the whole of we are thief are just choose someone we not get catch yet. Me don't know about that family. Come in and walk and trouble people things. So of the whole of we are thief. That's the first thing. Secondly, I am also of the view that some people feel that because somebody have a name or a surname, it means that they should get different treatment than a man when I have no name. Not in my books. You understand? So whether you name Matalan or you name Jan, if you step wrong, you get wrong bang. You understand? So there's nothing personal in these things for me. Zane, I have a platform where I share information. Zane, I never do a video, say, yo, triple X, then get triple X a thief, this or a thief that run around place, run around part. I simply, based on the information that was available, put the video together, Zane, I did a video on um what that ex police brother name with them fine with them with them charged with murder the, the other day. Zane? Nothing personal for night for me, I just did the video. You understand? So in no a matter what your name, as me say if you step wrong, you yeah, get wrong bang, it's a simple match. So for the people out there who may have been offended with the fact that I chose to report the incident. Then I feel your business that. Yeah, it's I wanna do it. You see, they don't watch the video. Or you don't watch the channel. Then life goes on. We don't we don't we don't pet our powder people. We don't have a special treatment for nobody. The work of the work. See? Come me, if I have said to somebody, say yo, if I did somebody without no name, you wouldn't have make them statement neither. You see me I say? So I don't know the, the specifics of the situation. I never pretend like I know. I simply use... See it here, a very short. Title, Triple X Arrested for Petty Theft in Florida. Jamaican social media personality, actor, comedian and selector Triple X, given name Dariel Anthony Cummings, has been arrested in Florida. This according to FloridaArrest.org. According to the site, me even got clip things from the side for show people, you know. According to the side, the 34-year-old, 34-year-old Cummings was arrested in North Lauderdale, Florida on one count of petty theft in the second degree on Wednesday, the 26th of August. His bond was set at US $25. At the time of this publication, details of the incident surrounding Cummings' arrest were not known. How can we as a people come say Lo, the man, Kai Wola, we are thief. I don't know why what was stolen. See? How come the Wola, we are thief, are true, we don't get catch it. Me and a thief family, me don't understand. See? So, me, I never got involved in that. Can you know my videos, they not do that. I simply share the information that I can verify and move on. Oh, we are Jamaicans and we quick for sell out Jamaicans. Brothers, work me a work. You understand what I mean? I say? 
So I can't understand. We try to justify some things when some people involved and when other people involved crucify him. But we have to be fair and balance across the thing, man. You understand? If a law order we think there, a law order we think there. So I don't have nothing against the brother. See him? I, I don't even watch the things that Triple X does on, on the end. I not even know so Triple X and somebody with the name was a Royal Blue or something in or some things. And the comments that I pray and I say, he may have addressed something recently. I saw a snippet of his life where he said, him not now going to change, him not change nothing. Him still going to do him video them. Him still I go I go talk about things where I not agree with. If things up on social media where I need to boss some people, him still going to do it. I saw that clipping from the life. You understand? But I didn't watch the live. I wasn't interested in the live. You see me? So, nothing against Mr. Cummings. We just, I do the work. You understand what I say? But this thing about, we are Jamaicans, so look, look, look out for what? If you're wrong, you're wrong, family. You understand? And the whole of we are thief. The whole of we are what? No, sir. No, miss. You all are we on a thief, because I'm not that. Work hard for the things that you want. Sacrifice. Blood, sweat, and tears. Sleepless nights. You understand? Yeah, man. Two jobs, too. Mm. So, don't do that. So, as I said, I know the details of the thing. We just do the work. <laughs> then, then, what you want to do? Pick and choose. No family. The work is the work. You understand what I mean? I say, I just the same thing there. I don't know the details. You understand? If somebody know it, I know somebody commented who, who said that they are in the North Lauderdale area and he would have been privy to the situation. And he says dumb things. The comments are there. I don't even need for, 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 for paraphrase the comments. You understand what I mean? I say, so I just saw it thing there. Um, eh. <laughs> So peeps, I just I cut it in the night here. I know the stream full up and I know I said teach it early. Yeah, but I'm still tired. Mm. So you know what I think. We appreciate the support. Um I don't know tomorrow night, Saturday night, I don't know. You no know, phone them there, you no, know, now use and thing. We might do a one call in. I don't know. There's there's a little thing that they say, you know, as as somebody on YouTube, you should never tell your viewers what you're going to do. You should just do it. Um, me I try to adapt my local principle there too. You understand? Me know my reason with people them from time to time. Um, and thing. Interview Tuesday. Me never start edit it yet. Me never start cut it yet. Me never lay it out yet. Um, Junior X. Me know some people gonna say teach who I'm gonna go do the research. Good artist. You understand? Not because one who don't know the artist means he's not a good artist. You understand? And I. I mean, see, called Junior X, because I'm interested in that story. You understand? So, I want to not give me a talk. We just going to watch the interview. Look at it. Big up yourself, bro. Look at the interview. Was at, look at it. Took the teacher to school. Look at it. Was the principal. Yeah, man. You know the phone. We take call on the channel more time, Palmer, man. Yeah, man. Zane, more time. We, we do some calling thing. But not, not tonight. Um, Craig Creations. Big up yourself, in a broski. You know, we give thanks to the support and the contribution all the time, you know. You understand? Um, and thing, and thing, and thing. You see? So, you know what thing go. Um, so, Tuesday's interview, Juna X, after Juna X, should be the great Marcia Griffiths. After Marcia Griffiths, you know, the Fire Mace. And then after the Fire Mace, you know, the King of Dancehall, the girls, them sugar. You understand? The Doctor. <laughs> Moses Anthony Davis Yes and we'll have been in an interview for about three weeks still so this is a whole heap of talking and each interview probably about two hours I don't know I will see I don't even look on the time it I hope being in an interview not have the audio sync problem cause I, I, why a look at the interview was rough. Two hours and I have to go through and sync every every single frame. But I just I don't know what the problem. 
Um, I still not set up the camera them and the audio thing and go through to try to figure out where the sync issue has come from. Um, I am awaiting the day when I'm able to just sell all the camera gear I have right now and replace it working on that. But we don't reach this yet. You understand? Changing systems, changing brands, changing everything. You understand? Moving up. Moving on up. That's what I think. Now. Peace. Big up on yourself. Appreciate the support. Um, I have not been doing any interviews recently. My choice because I just don't want to go up on the street if I don't have to go up on the street. Especially considering the fact that I have a very, very young child at home. And um, I just don't really want to expose him if I don't have to. You understand? So I just easy with the interviews. Some people have to reschedule. Some people would just have to put back some, you understand? As me I say, me now say if I want Barry Salmon become available or I want Sanchez or I want Maxi Priest, you understand? But right now, you understand? You know, me been a child called Anthony B and I, I, I not get him. I don't know where Mr. Anthony B is here, is where, you know. But that, me still a try, me still a try. I don't think that is crazy in the country. Zane, um, when I investigated, that's, the, the, that's the, the result I came up with. I don't think he's in Jamaica. I don't know if that has changed. Um, and thing, Juna X, Marcia Griffiths, Fire Mason, King Beanie Man is a great month ahead. Loki D took I man to school. But I Loki D interviewed the deep on a level, brother. Me, me learn a million different things. You understand? I said, Blessings, Michael Small. You understand? The Jamaica interview is, is the, the interview that. It's a next, it's a next school, you know, but from a different level. You understand? It's not really a most, it's not a really musical schooling, but a life lesson schooling. Marcy, I know, is just the greatest thing. You understand? Jonah X, good youth. Holy but things are forward. Being a man now, what you can say about being a man? Being a man no business with nobody. You understand? Not nobody being a man. Yes, and the man just love music and nothing else no matter to him. That is being a man in, 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 in summary. Peeps, big up on yourself. See, I'm going to say the other day, killer said, Teach. Ellie, no link here. You no link Ellie. What, what go on? Fix that. Kochi, what go on? Fix that. Then me as a general, then you deal with the thing, man. And you understand? Then it's, it's you are the man. It's not teach them. It's you that. So do, do the thing. Yes, and then yeah, yeah, well, lad, man, I know me that. So, you know, I think, um, so we're working on them things, um, you know, I think, go we're out here, I will go on. Mm. Take a look at time, so make me kind of ease off of going on the street to do the. I was supposed to interview Danny Brownie recently, but I kind of push back that too, because I just don't want unnecessary exposure to my son right now, so I just kind of keep it on a little level. You know what I mean? Um, Dan Smart, I have been trying. No luck just yet. I've been trying. Trying. You know what I mean? I say, holy but I holy but things, man. Just give me a little time. I'm going to interview everybody, you know. Everybody. Give me a little time. Things take a little time. Things take a little time. You understand? So I'm in the process now of researching because I said I want to upgrade my, my gear. Um, to same camera below my lens collection because we are changing system from Canon to Sony. That is the plan. Um, upgrading the computer because I kind of struggle with the work right now. That are the plan. But that are further down in the year when you know around Black Friday them time there. Cyber Monday them time there. So if we can get some discounts around them things there. So I'm only by look at things. I would just take a look at time um, and thing and eventually sell out some of the, the equipment that we have, change out, you know, for recoup some of the money and do some other things and them things. Yeah. Um, no one thing go, not really load up certain things, but whether I try to do the thing, but the thing was, I tell us I, I want to transition into um, shooting some music videos and also the business I'm always telling about, shoot some weddings and some graduations and some corporate events and offer music and for a lot of things. So we just take a little time. We are work on it. Um, as I said, we don't want to live our life working for the government every single day for the rest of our life. So we are trying to put some things 
in perspective. You understand? And I try set the foundation for my youths them have a better life than the life of me have grown up. You know what I think? We give thanks. Pips, you know we're out here. Appreciate the support. Um, no, I make no promises, but I want to make sure the notifications them on. You know what I mean? Give thanks to the one them. Appreciate every encouraging word, every constructive critique. I appreciate that. You understand, you know, the real bad criticism them. We appreciate that too because it means uh, it thing will happen. Because if there's nobody, nobody will see you. You understand? So we give thanks to that same way. You see it? We give thanks to the ones who keep recommending the channel to them family and friends. We give thanks to the people them who watch every video, like every video, comment on every video. Some, some of the video them they don't like the video content, you know, because I probably murder, but them like the video because them knows I teach tech sometime and put another something here. We appreciate that. You understand? Some people are the stream them like, some people are the interview them like, some people are the video them about Jamaica most wanted men them like. Some people, them like different things. You understand? So big up, whatever you like about the channel, we appreciate the likes. You understand what I mean? I say? Big up to the people, them, who are a part of the channel WhatsApp group. Um, Them people there. I want to look at family that, you know, the family. You understand? And thing, big up on yourself. Big up to all of the moderators, them. They may need to add a few more moderators in time. Um, Some people, they up on a regular, loyal to the thing. You understand what I mean? I say? We appreciate the ones them. See, we can't make everybody moderator, but we try as best as possible to reward the loyalty. You know, some people there from a long time, they're not really business about being moderator. And and then some of them very dark, like a royal general. Then we tell people about them parts. And make, you understand what I say? He's a dark brother. You see? But it, them and them a G. You see me I say? So I do so thing. So we have to take a look at time and you know what I mean? Big up to the people that will contribute to the stream tonight by liking, sharing, commenting. You understand? Big up to the people who contributed financially. Lawful, Zena Brown, Kobe Best Fan, um, Nicole McCoy, Van Byrne, Whiteley, Jamar Goss, Craig Creations, and Esor Inc. Esor Inc. Him tell me the pronunciation of the name. Break it down for me. About, um, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing, and thing. You see me, I say, yeah, man. Um, so, peeps, big up on yourself. All of the ladies, them. I don't know how my babies, them. <laughs> all of the generals, I don't know how my brother. Um, you know what I mean? My godfather, them. Big up on yourself, you know, you know what I think. Peeps, mothers and respect. Miss Winsome H. Carl Welch. God favored me. Ruby Morrison. Kanaika. Um, Jamar. Mike Lewis. Annoying J.A. Review. Junior Lewis. Ken Prosper. Garza Ricardo, Cookie Mama, Miss Joan Gray, um, Asa Spade, Spade, big up yourself in a youth, Garfield Leslie, um, MS Fang, Empress, big up yourself in a Lloyd Shaw, blessings every time, you know, best info channel, teach them more strength, give thanks to the brother, brother, well, I appreciate that something there, Ali Dan, Ali, soon check the message and, 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 and respond, bro, skin, I see a word. You know what I mean? And thing. When I say Carl Welch, I almost say, where Tony Welch do you? Big up yourself in the Carl Welch. Man has a respect, you know. Um, peeps, Jamar, got so to check out him channel still. Zane, but you know, as I say, you know what I think of. Um, Father Mike Lewis. Zane. Um, Miss Shani Coleman. Miss Coleman, how you doing? Hope you're good, you know. Hope all is well, you know. You know, you're a long time, people. Triple X Thug. Big up yourself, you know. Peeps, man has a respect to the ones that I have not call a name. You know, true when I see it, you understand? Um, you know, live chat about the day, James Bond did there one time. Kerry was here, I don't know if Kerry's still there. And think, Rosie B, why are they impressed? Rosie good as Jeff asleep. You understand? Um, Mario God, big up yourself in a Rasta. Um, my YouTube mother, Miss Millicent Thomas McDermott, big up yourself in a mom. Mr. McDermott, if you watch, big up yourself in a. You have our Romans, big up. Peeps, good night. Sunday, 8.30, make it a date and don't be late. Don't look for it. Get book for it. If me upload no video since week, you know watch, go watch it. You answer me, I say, and thing. Peeps, thanks for the continued support. Thanks for continuing sharing and liking and watching. And, 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 you know what I mean, the financial contribution and stuff. We give thanks. Big up to the people that move up on Patreon. You know, our Patreon thing, we're not too, too... You know what I mean? But we, we, we shut my reason with the people them from time to time and thing. You know what I mean? Big up to the people them over on um, PayPal. 
big up to the Western Union people them. Big up to the people them when they might come yard, you know them them pack a little bag for teach them said speed. Big up to the people them when they might come from country, them pack a little bag for teach them said we. You understand? Big up to the people them where you know what I mean, the whole like people them. We give thanks, cause I've met some good people out of this thing too. Pips! What good? Step with Ja. You know the thing go. See if travel on the gravel. I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. Like the stream before you go. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Remember to share the stream with your family and friends and browse the channel for more amazing content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them. Hey, yo, yellow. Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing.